Hello! And welcome to... Lonesome Road. So you came, Courier. To what? Watch your homeland burn one last time? Kill me, perhaps? You are too late. The Divide is awakening. The package and the message within have come full circle. The sequence has begun just as before. Except this time, the missiles will touch the sky instead of being locked beneath the ground. You've answered your own question. And you'll die with that question on your lips. You don't see, listen, even when it's all around you. No matter if I nailed it into your head like a gift from Kaisar. You brought the divide to life, courier. You walked the road, brought the bear, then the bull, brought me, following your tracks. And when I saw the divide you made, I saw a second chance, a new way of thinking. My world, no longer, and you brought the No. Now there is many messages can blame you. No. Learned from you. Both the weapon to kill a nation and the strength to do it. You showed me a road, a way to carry my message. You've already answered for what you've done. Now the flag you follow will answer for it. No, not the Mojave, the West. All that's been built since America died. Same symbols as before the war. Now a flag carried by a tribe of children. You walked the West, didn't stay. You know the reason. The bear grows without structure, follows a symbol without knowing its history. After this, only one flag will remain over the Mojave. Let that one fly, or destroy itself. <laughs> no need to destroy the bear, just cut its throat. You taught me that at the Divide. Only need to cut off the supply line, the road to watch something greater die. I'll turn the long 15 into miles of fire, cut off the Mojave, NCR will fall back, lose Hoover Dam, and leave their throats exposed to the Legion. Yet you follow nothing at all. You have walked the Mojave, let the shadow of flags fall upon you, yet walk carelessly. No allegiance, your words, empty as your actions. The why of it. You taught me the why of it. If you believe in something enough, you must be willing to let it burn, lest it claim you. These governments of the two-headed bear, the Legion, they carry old world ideas into an age that no longer needs them, where they cannot live. Our history, the divide, that history has been written, its lessons learned. There's nothing more to be dug from these cracks in the earth, no more fury to be torn from its sky. My home in the east Dry wells is no more. It is part of the Legion. The only other home, the chance of a home, was what you built at the Divide. Then you destroyed it. There is truth in that. History has proven it. But whatever is built, the bear, bull, 
even Vegas, will tear it apart. Con Nothing can prevent what comes. The missiles will launch. These questions, your words or mine, what do they matter to you? It is enough. It may be that as much destruction has been written in the earth here, you may build something else as you built the divide. You have spoken truly. There is a shadow of a nation behind you, the hope of a people, yet it may not matter. The divide still stands against us. Our enemies gather outside, shadows of the bear and the bull. They will have found their way in, just as you did. It was always my intention. In case I could not kill you, the Mark men would flood this place, cut off your escape. If we cannot prevent what comes, then let us make our stand here. Two couriers, together, at the Divide. They come to us. All right. There was Lonesome Road. The Divide erupted in fire as the flame trail of the two couriers' message arced into the sky. Missiles fell on the east, and the Legion encampment at Drywells, where the Twisted Hears had allied, then been betrayed by Wolpus and Kaisar. Legion soldiers died, their silhouettes blasted into the ground and earth, the last word of the last of the twisted hairs. It was an ending to things, a way of erasing the road that had led to this point and the history that had walked with it.
Hopeville burned lightless in the night, invisible fires of radiation scorching it from within and without. It is said a man still walked its streets with a tattered jacket and old world flag etched on the back. He remained there, perhaps as punishment for the scars he left on the wastes, or a reminder of a history he could not forget. For Ulysses, his journey was over. The courier had been the end of his road. As for the courier, he turned his back on his home for the second time and made his way back, navigating the treachery of the Divide. Tunnelers and the marked men avoided the lone figure, as if recognizing the courier's right to passage, or out of fear. The courier walked until he stood again upon the edge of the divide, the last road he would walk before the second battle for Hoover Dam. There, beside his feet, was a final package from one courier to another, a footlocker bearing a gift and a message. But that message, it is something for couriers to carry and for them alone. The lights flickered across the divide, reminders that the old world histories persist and find meaning in the present. It said, war, war never changes. Men do, through the roads they walk. And this road has reached its end. Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to a loading screen, huh? There goes dry wells. Now we have equal to 10 points of luck. Until daytime. Alright. 
let's check out some of these new things that we got. Let's check out the courier duster. You've done a good turn for the NCR. You're not. Thank you. That actually looks pretty cool with the 21 on my back. What else can we wear? Go along with this. Oh, why not USC's mask? That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? So then, I don't know, after this I think I'm gonna we'll watch over my videos. Back again, I Sir. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Appreciate the help. No, I mentioned you might accidentally get supplied, and I meant it. Not allowed to contract mercenaries at the outpost. Still, uh, rec. Morning. All right. Wait, I said let's take a look at this stuff, so let's take a look at USC's Duster, too. Alright, now that's cool. I kinda like the American flag on the back. Let's actually wear this one. Or even better, let's compare, uh... Critical Chance plus 5, Charisma plus 1. Luck plus one, poison plus thirty. Uh, I don't know. Guess we'll just have to switch between the two as I see fit, huh? Wow, halfway through the video and already out of things to say, huh? Oh, radio turn off? Yes, yes it did. Much better. Hey there. Need anything?
I go to sleep and keep grinning. If this is just the beginning, my life is gonna be beautiful. I've sun shining up to spread. It's just like the fella said. Tell me quick, ain't love a kick in the head. Check out some of these weapons that we got. Blood nap. That's the first one. Now this is really cool. In addition, NCR officials at Camp McCarran were relieved when technical difficulties with its monorail line to the New Vegas Strip proved to be a fix. Hotkey, this is something. One anonymous official Six, told us maybe. a serious mechanical failure would have been a disaster because of the age of the train and the scarcity of the replacement parts. That's the news. This is Mr. New Vegas filling in for. Mr. New Vegas. And now, I'd like to play one of my very favorite songs for you. Actually, no. Let's use this. Pretty cool. Now it's getting to be about that time again, so let's leave off. This is Hall Phantom signing out. Goodbye. <laughs>